Good morning, guys. So it's Friday the 14th. I got put on call today because I was just next on the list. So it's about... Ow. It, it's almost 8 o'clock. I've actually, like I said, I've been awake for a while. <laughs> I was on my HVO Go account on my phone. Let me open the blinds real quick. I was on my HBO Go account because I hardly ever use it. But I started watching... What is this? The Hobbit, The Battle of the Five Armies. You can see I'm watching it on my phone. But I'm actually going to transfer over to my laptop so I could watch it and then like do other things on my phone. Let's pause it. But it started off really good. I, I think this is... The third one? I'm not sure. I don't remember what the first one was called, but the second one was uh, The Hobbit, The Desolation of Smog, which was the one about the dragon? Yeah. So this is the third one, and I haven't seen it yet, and it started off really good. I just wanted to, like, just look to see real quick, and then I got sucked into it, and now I'm, like, 25 minutes in. <laughs> But luckily, it's not three hours long, thank God. It's only like two hours and 20 minutes, give or take. <sighs> so yeah, kind of, um, I'm kind of like stoked that I got put on call today just because like everything that I wasn't able to do yesterday, I can do today. And that just means my vacation starts a little earlier because I'm off this weekend and then I'm off Monday too, I think, I think. Let me see. Yeah, I'm off Monday. So then if I don't get called in to come to work today, then I'm off for four days, including today. So pretty excited about that because then I could like clean the house because I didn't even get to vacuum yesterday. I took a nap. I, um, what do you call it? You know, I could just do other things <laughs> and go to work. It sucks because, well, I'm still getting paid because it's on call, but it's not very much. It's going to be like maybe like $60, $65 if I don't get called in. But I mean, that's better than nothing, right? Like getting paid to do nothing, kind of like wait around. <laughs> so come 3 p.m., if I don't get a call to go into work, then I'm home free. So then I could start packing, clean the house, clean the room organize my desk because I've been trying to do that since last week and um, first I'm gonna upload the video from two days ago and then I'm gonna keep watching the desolation no not the desolation um the battle of the five armies Dex went to work so he never gets canceled which is a good thing uh, he made copy because, you know, I thought I had work today and then he also made me lunch. Well, he cut me lunch. <laughs> but he made the coffee um, and it's still hot. So I guess it just turned off. So I'm going to have coffee instead of tea today. But I think I put too much creamer. Oh, well. More creamer. More coffee. So this is my situation right now. Watching in this small F screen on my laptop doing stuff. And I have this mini speaker on because the speaker on this sucks. Oh, I was saying um, the sound on my cell phone sucks. So I'm using this, the mini, I'm using the mini speaker and it's pretty, it gets pretty loud. Can you hear it? Hey. <laughs> okay, so I finished the movie. Um, and it was really, really, really good, actually. Like, really good. Um, better than the first one, for sure. Because the first movies, when it comes to, like, Lord of the Rings or any, like, sequel movie, the first one is always the most boring, I guess, because um, not a lot of action. But it's always either the third or the fourth installment of a movie that gets really, really good because... Just like the Lord of the Rings, um, the, was it the Two Towers? I think it was. The one with the battle scene. 
That one was the third installment and it was amazeballs. And then this one, it's the third one of the Hobbit installment and it was good because there was so much action. It was literally like 45 minutes of like fighting and it was awesome. So sorry Dex that you didn't get to watch it with me. But it was like impromptu. I was literally just in bed this morning looking at my HBO Go seeing what movies were out because I would always see The Hobbit on our uh, cable box but since we don't have HBO on our cable box uh, I use my HBO Go which is linked to my mom's HBO account back home so that's the cool part I guess because we don't have to add that extra monthly fee to get HBO because I have access to it since my mom has it at home so Dex whenever you get a chance you should watch it. I'd totally watch it with you again because it was amazing, amazing. Anyways, so while I was watching movies, I was just making paper clips uh, to sell on my Etsy and put new listings up because I really haven't had the time to do that. And since I'm not working today anyways, or I hope, I don't know if they call me in, I might as well work on my other business. So... But it's getting really hot. It's 82 degrees already. Ah! Oh my gosh, I have two fans going on. That one back there. And then this one over here. The tower fan. Tower fan. Which is keeping me cool for now. Um, I'm trying not to turn that one on. It's really dusty. Can you see? I need to clean it. Can you see the dust like right there that's gross right <laughs> yeah of course it's gross but I need to get one of those Swiffer thingies that you you know what I'm talking about for for ceiling fans they have it at Target but I just need a clean period so I had lunch leftover leftover leftovers from last night oh my god it's so hot I was gonna go out, like, to Target. Maybe I'll wait till later when it cools down just a little bit. Because it's literally like it's 11.30 and it's prime time. Hateness right now. Oh my god. California. What's up with this weather? <laughs> this song is just really catchy. Like, it's not great, but it's catchy because it reminds me, um, who is it? Soldier Boy. <laughs> so good. I'm only speaking for myself when I say that, you know, if you get a chance in your life to either go out of state, out of town, be able to dorm, or just like go to a either Cal State or University or one of the like elite schools or even go to school abroad just do it like even if your parents are like hesitant because I know like some Filipino parents are very like no you need to stay close to home don't go you know like why don't you just go to the <laughs> this is really dumb but m my mom actually said this and I know a couple of like Filipino parents have said this to their kids but like they would say like why don't you just go to the community college you know like down the street or in town but it's kind of like because they want to keep you you know within arm's distance and they're just afraid they I don't know why though I mean, it is a crazy world out there, but they, they just want you home. And I can understand that, but at the same time, it's like, you're only going to get one if you're with the norm. <laughs> you're only going to get one college experience in your life, and you can really only do it once. And if you get an opportunity to do that, just take it. Even if your parents need a little bit of convincing, they need a little bit more from you in terms of trust just do it because if you turn it down later on in life you're gonna regret not going to like a university or a cal state or going out of state or going out of town even or even doing the whole dorm experience you're gonna regret it because i know a couple people who 
weren't able to experience the full college life and when I talk to them about it now or when they hear me talk about my experience in college they wish that they were able to do that or have that college experience so I just went to Cal State Fullerton but even so it was like 20 minutes away from my parents house where I was living at the time even so like I met so many amazing people I, I, I would probably call them like family my best friends because I still keep in touch with them now and I met so many people in college that I didn't really necessarily have to dorm because I would always just stay at their apartment or go to their dorm and like chill or I would just be on campus in the student union not doing anything, skipping class. Like I still got the full experience of what a college or university would offer. And I know that when my brother, because he is coming to that time in his life because he's a I believe he's gonna be a sophomore in high school this year or this like next week he starts sophomore year in high school so it's just around the corner and I know my mom's gonna be like no why he can just go to Cal State Fullerton but I didn't have that person in my life when I was going to college or high school or when I was applying to college who pushed me to like want to apply to all those really really good schools because I had the grades for it, I had the extracurricular activities for it like I had the GPA for it but I didn't I really just kind of aimed mediocrely, that's not a word <laughs> and I did get mediocre um, but I kinda wish that I did apply to like universities, I only applied to Cal State's but I know when my brother starts applying to places, I am definitely going to push him to write those essays and try to get into those universities, whether it's out of town, whether he has to dorm or whatever. Like, I trust him. He's smart, book smart. I mean, I think a lot of kids these days don't have that common sense. I don't know why, though. <laughs> but I would want the best for him. I mean, it really is very cliche for me to say, but like what I wasn't able to get, I want him to get for himself, for his life. Does that make sense? I sound like a parent. Oh my God, Mel, stop. Okay, I'm stopping right now. We're done. The car is hot. It sucks having leather seats. But I'm gonna go to Target. I know, I feel like I go to Target every day that I'm off. But I have to buy toilet paper. Cause I also we're gonna wipe our vaginas. I mean RVs and peas. Wiping RVs and peas. Yes. It's so hot outside and finally home. I literally went to Target to get toilet paper. Ooh, I don't know why it always like gets out of focus. But I got toilet paper. Yay us. Now we can wipe our butts with paper towel. Paper towel <laughs> with paper. Any hoozles. I I'm gonna work out, so I made myself a mix of the C4. The one that I showed you earlier this week, this stuff, it's fruit punch. Which actually doesn't taste bad. Um, there are some that taste pretty nasty. But this was pretty good. Yumzo. Dex is home. Uh. Wait, we didn't make rice? Didn't make rice. But, a frittata. Nom. But there's, there's a little bit of rice left. I don't know if you didn't make rice. Anyways. Dex is home. He's taking a shower. Marp. It's still light out. Awesome. I like getting off of work like around this time, 7 7.30, and it's still light out. But I know like come the burr months, like October, November, December, it's gonna, well, when is daylight savings? I think it's in October. 
October. So spring back, fall forward. Oh, that sucks. This is gonna be dark when I get off of work. I uh, got my nose strips. Took a, I. Oops, wrong one. I took a shower. I worked out. You know. <laughs> you guys are probably like super annoyed of that boys but it's friday and well what's on television on fridays normally do you guys know sorry i'm looking at my phone i still haven't packed yet but i did the dishes yay <laughs> but it doesn't take a long time to pack so i'm not too worried about there's like three pieces of chicken left. I, I left it for you. I said I left it for you. I know you're gonna face her now because you're so predictable. <laughs> what is that laugh? What are you doing? Uh huh. What are you trying to do? What are you? Why? Just act normal. This is everyday life. <laughs> <laughs> so you're feeling me being fat ass. I mean, if that's your everyday life. <laughs> I feel like half of our videos are of us eating or me eating. Well, because I'm the one who's holding the camera. You never want to vlog. Th that's a lot of rice for a little bit of avocado. <laughs> Anyways, um, we're gonna watch The Hobbit again. I know I watched it, but it was just so good, and I want Dexter to watch it. So I want Dex to experience what I experienced earlier. Pure awesomeness. So I connected Dexter's laptop to the TV via cord <laughs> and so we're watching The Hobbit um, streaming it from HBO Go on the big screen um, so maybe this is a, a better experience for me considering I watched it on my phone this morning <laughs> so we're watching it again because yeah like I said I want him to see it look at his position Dexter got his ice cream. Look at his face. Oh shit. <laughs> He's like a little boy. Like a little big boy. Face mask time. This one is Elastic Q10. Hmm. I don't know. Collagen. <sighs> Editing and face masking. I think every night you guys get to see one of Dexter's awesome positions. Look at me. Face the other way. Your hair. It's crazy, like standing up. Dex. Disconnect that now, girl. <laughs> you cold? Yeah, I'm cold. The bangs are long. Good night, Dex. Good night. What time am I putting my alarm on? Ooh, seven. Are you cold? Yeah. I'm putting mine at 5 o'clock. You better not. Better not. Good night. See you tomorrow. Ramen, I got hungry. You got hungry. Yes, green, blue. <laughs>